Well, I'm here at the MediaLink stand here at IBC 2015. I've uh, got John Smith with me. Hi, John. Hi. Uh, now, guys, you're moving into uh, EMEA. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, well, actually, it's an interesting thing with uh, Media Links because it's actually been around since the mid 90s and uh, really haven't raised our profile around, yeah. the, around the globe, you know, Japan, in Australia, and then the States. But what we've actually seen is there's a massive market in, the, in EMEA. Yeah. Um, yeah, only 188 countries, 27 different languages, yeah. so many different cultures. Um, so we've decided to actually set up a base in the UK to actually handle the. Uh, European, Middle East and, and Africa yeah. marketplace because it's a, you know, each of those you've got legacy systems, you've got old, old you know, telcos and yeah. carriers around but you've also got new ones in the Middle East and those new areas and we feel we need to be in the region to actually maximise yeah. our opportunities but also support our customers yeah. in the area. So that's the, uh, why we're coming into this, uh, this region. Now you mentioned telcos, you guys are obviously well known yeah. in the telco business but what do you guys bring to the broadcast industry? Um, I think the thing we bring is that telco knowledge because it's interesting. I mean, my background is actually telco and broadcast, so I'm fairly fairly lucky to have a foot in both camps. But the, the issue is, within telcos, we know all the telco networks, how the things go across those networks. We've learned all that over the years, you know, delivering all these IP for years. It's not new to us. You know, we talk about converging well. We've, we've been converged for years. What, what we bring to the, the broadcast sector is that knowledge and actually delivering this for real. That's, that's, the, that's the key thing. What actually happens, how that network is actually configured, how, what you have to do with it. But what is actually clear, uh, you know, we're not going to be arrogant about this. Yeah, we've been in that telco market for a long time. We need to learn about broadcast. It's okay me saying, oh, I know about broadcast, I've worked in it, and all these different things. As a company, we need to learn from the customers which are at this event. And that's the key thing for us. This, this show, this booth, is not about all the flashing lights and wires are saying, we've got all this technical gobbledygook, which may be Martian. What do you want? What do you as a customer actually need? What is your views of IP? Because everybody's got a different view and everybody's different. And so the issue is, we're not going to be arrogant. We're going to be asking people, talk to us, and we'll learn from, from that. But we can also go back to them and say, this is what we learned. When we delivered those 470 hours of the, uh, the Football World Cup with no downtime, no packet loss, that's a pretty good experience to actually put into the live broadcast world. Brilliant. And here at IBC, what are you guys showing? Well, what we're showing here is actually the first thing is our new booth. And that may seem crazy, but we, as a company, we've never really raised the head above the parapet in terms of marketing, brand, or anything. So I was led off the leash with this one because, um, again, a background in different areas of AV and interacting with clients. We've made a booth which is different. The booth is interactive with the customers. So we have touch screens. We can sit down, collaborate with clients, talk to them, pull files up. We can even email the file directly from the touch screen to the home so they haven't got to wait for the post. So we've actually done it. What we're also showing is some of the products where, which will fit into the broadcast marketplace. And in one particular area, although we're not allowed to mention the name of the actual customer, where everybody else is talking around the show about proof of concepts, in March of next year, we're delivering a major global IP studio systems in the studio and across to the, uh, a wider area network as well. So rather than just talking about it and proof of concept, we're actually are delivering it. So we have proof of that and we can go through and talk about that. So we've got those sort of things. We've also got other products that we're bringing out which will come into the market to give, you know, reduce, lowering the barrier to entry into the marketplace. So rather than having you know, the huge boxes that we have to have for the telco marketplace and some of the broadcasters, there are some people that just want to get on the first rung of the ladder but be compatible with industry standards. So we're launching those products here. But again, those products to get feedback from people. What other features would you like on it? What else would you like in your market? What have we forgotten? What do you need? And that's really what we're showing here as well. Now, obviously, moving into this industry, moving to EMEA, looking for partners. What sort of partners are you looking for? Well, that's an interesting one because, again, the partner program that we're actually launching is based on skill sets. We're, again, not being arrogant, I could come up with a par partner program that says you've all got to do this and I end up with a bunch of clones, yeah. not playing to anybody's strengths. So what we're looking at is partners that understand technology, but actually more so understand their customers and the market they're in, that vertical market. Yeah. Okay, we're at a broadcast show, so I want to work with people that understand broadcast, can prove it, yeah. and actually give me the support I actually need. But I want people that, for, if we're in education, yeah. uh, they're in education. 
if they're in government, they're in, they're in government. Yeah. It's a bit like me going out and saying, yo, I want my house rewired and I'm going to talk to the plumber. Yeah. No, I want to talk to somebody who knows electrical work. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing with our partner program. So it's creating a partners that support me. I'm not looking to set up a big organization yeah. uh, and go direct everywhere. And that's not the way we work and not the way I work. It's working with our partners and their customers and supporting them. John, that's great. Now, if people haven't been able to come to IBC and see you guys and want to find out more about Media Links, maybe about becoming a partner with you guys, is there a website they can look at? Well, it certainly is. Again, what we've done for this, this show um, is we've created a, a, a specific events website, yeah. uh, media, medialinks-events.com. Yeah. We've also launched our new web, global website, medialinks.com. Yeah. And there's links through all, all of that to what, what we're doing in, in the UK. We have Twitter feeds as well. So we've gone from, if you like, nothing in terms of all the yeah. marketing in the media to just about everything. But it's also, we're going to follow this through. So anybody who's talking to us now or contacting us via the websites, we will be in contact during and, and after the show. So we've got all the forms of media hopefully covered. Yeah, brilliant. John, that's great. Thank you very much for talking to us. Go and have a look at their website. Uh, we'll put the link on screen now for you, and uh, you can get in contact with John and the guys at Media Link. Um, obviously, we've been doing a load of stuff here at IBC 2015. You'll find that on our website, and of course, that's kitplus.com. <laughs>